Olay, 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 and welcome to All Your Living Needs. I'm Jono, and this is the prediction for FC Dallas versus Real Salt Lake. This is taking place at 9 p.m. Eastern, Friday, August 22nd. Previous meetings for Dallas has seen them win two, lose one, and tie two. Season goal leaders for FC Dallas are Fabian Castillo with eight Tisho, uh, Tisho Akindela with seven, Mikel with seven, and Blase Perez with six. Real Salt Lake has a much larger span of goal of goal leaders. We have Jao Plata with eleven, Javier Morales with six, Alvario Sabario with six, Luke Mulholland with six, Lewis Gill with two, Kyle Beckerman with two. Olmes uh, Garcia and Chris Schuler with two. Season stats, FC Dallas has played 24 games and so has Real Salt Lake. Uh, FC Dallas has seen 11 wins and so has Real Salt Lake. Uh, FC Dallas has seen seven losses and Real Salt Lake has seen four. And FC Dallas has six draws to nine draws for Real Salt Lake. These guys are very, very close to each other, uh, number one and number three in the uh, ranking for the Western Conference. I'll get to that in a second. FC Dallas destroyed the San Jose Quakes 5-0 to on Saturday, August 16th. They are having a much better year than they did last year as they captured their third straight win in a nine-game unbeaten run. Anka Dele scored three out of the five and earned himself his first hat trick. Again, when you have powerhouses, this is my professional, my honest opinion on this, uh, when you have powerhouses like Akindel and Fabian Castillo, uh, who helped start the land, he, star he, helped, he started, he helped start the landslide in this 30th minute, uh, both together become unstoppable forces, especially against a lesser team like San Jose. Uh, though most of the fault can be solely placed on Quake's goalkeeper, John Bush, uh, who needs to be replaced, but I doubt that San Jose coach has the balls to do it. My personal opinion. Disciplinary report, we have Castillo and Hedges are one caution away from a suspension. The disabled list, we have defender George John with a right knee injury. Midfielder Hendre Thomas with a left ACL tear. Goalkeeper Chris Sietz with a right quad tear. Again, uh, FC Dallas is number three in the Western Conference. For Real Salt Lake, they won against Seattle Sounders 2-1 to one on Saturday, August 16th as the two top teams of the Western Conference. That would be Real Salt Lake is number one, and Seattle Sounders are currently number two. They went head-to-head -head in a truly fair-matched fight. Uh, Real was able to keep the Sounders at bay for most of the game, finally giving up a goal in the 71st minute, and even that took nearly half the team to get it in the goal. What's really amazing to me is when you see a team within a team that is so tight and work so well together that they dominate the field. That's exactly what Real Salt Lake has going for it. The combination of Jao Plata, the shortest man in MLS, five foot two, and Lake Luke Mulholland, along with Lewis Gill, are an unstoppable force. Plata made the first goal for Real Salt Lake with a header off of Luke Mulholland kick in the 52nd minute, and then in the 57th minute, Mulholland scored himself. Disciplinary re report, Morales is one caution away from a suspension. Disabled list, forward Jordan Allen is an, uh, has a knee injury. Forward Alvario Saborio has a right foot injury. Midfielder John Sturtler, St Sturtzer has a right tibia injury, and defender Rich Balchin has an adductor injury. They are, again, the number one Western Conference. So, what am I predicting? This is going to be another evenly matched, intensely played game as number one and number three meet on the pitch to show us what they've got. Uh, both teams are super hot right now with FC Dallas having destroyed the San Jose Quakes and Real Salt Lake beating the Sounders. This is one of those games I wish I could go against my own rule and predict a tie, but I just can't. 
However, this is going to be a super low scoring game and tons of long ball attempts. Ultimately, I'm going to go with the underdog, not that they really are an underdog, but they but between uh, these two, you'd expect Real Salt Lake to win. Uh, so I'm actually going to go with FC Dallas. I am predicting a 1-0 to zero score, FC Dallas winning. Hey, that was a lot to take in, wasn't it? Don't forget to hit this button right here and subscribe, like, comment, and share. If you're listening to me on the radio, uh, go over to my YouTube and all your living needs and click the subscribe button. Of course, you can also follow us on whatever you're listening to, whether it be iHeartRadio or Spreaker or iTunes or another million things that we're involved with. So, uh, ole, ole, ole. Have a safe and happy week. Cheers. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.